Um, Andrew reminds us, well, he was asking about the podcast app and he was having some trouble with it. And he said, really, all I want is to run overcast on my Mac. And then it hit me. I was because I was typing an answer to him. I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, wait, I want that, too. But you know what? I can because with uh, what does Apple call it? Uh, a catalyst mode or project catalyst. I guess it's not a mode. Project catalyst lets you run some iPhone apps and iPad apps on your Apple Silicon based M1 Max. And Overcast is absolutely one of those. In fact, Overcast now uh, added some features kind of specifically for people running them on the Mac. You can open up multiple windows and do some different things in uh, Overcast, which is a podcast player. It's a great one, too. So uh, I found that very interesting that, uh, you know, like, think about that. If you have a favorite app on iOS, go check it out on on the Mac. It's it's easy to forget. Now, there are some apps which will not run, are built not to run. And it is 100% a decision of the developer. They can check a box or not check a box to allow it to be run on the Mac. There used to be a way using iMazing to slurp the IPA file out of the App Store keyed to you so you wouldn't want to share these and then uh, when you double click the ipa file on your mac it will offer to install the app and that's still very true i tried that with the facebook app because i know that's one that isn't allowed for download on the mac in the app store and it went all the way through the process and when it got to the end it said oh this app isn't provisioned to run on the mac you can't install it so they've plugged that hole yet again at least in the latest version of big sur uh, I didn't try it on my uh, Monterey Betamac, but I, I think uh, the same would be true.